Hello, I'm Linda Ann at Studio ABC. I'm a video creator for Color Art at ColorArt.com. Today I'm going to take these bottles and try to turn them into some ornaments. Uh, I have a G2 bottle and I'm not sure about this one. I think maybe these are thinner plastic and it might be easier for me to work with. And these little bitty ones really kind of intrigue me. I'm going to see what I can do with them. One little hint here, if you start to trying to cut into these bottles, it's best to have a lid on them. Because it, when the lid is on them, you can kind of stab into them. And uh, when it's not, it bends like this one does. So it's easier to kind of stab into it when you have that air pressure pushing back. So here we go. I'm going to cut into that and use that little line on the paper as a guideline to cut all the way around this. Just there. Okay. Got it. Now, dab all the water out of it. A few little droplets in there. These great big scissors come in pretty handy. They were my dad's old uh, upholster scissors, and I saw them from the time I was a little bitty girl, and now I have them, and they really do well on these plastic bottles. It amazes me. All that fabric he kept for years to do upholstery, and here I am using them on plastic bottles. There's a little groove here, and I'm gonna use that as a line because I want this shorter. It's too long to look like an ornament when I uh, use it that way. So I'm going I'm to shorten it and see what happens. And then I'm going to try putting different pieces together and see what looks good together. That's more like an ornament to me. It's shorter. That works. Um, if I cut it down a little bit more so that it's a little bit shorter and where it starts to curve in, it'll actually fit inside that other one. I was hoping to do this with children, and I'm thinking I'll cut the bottles and then let them um, replace them together, kind of stack them up and decide how they want to put these together. And then we can either use, um, that looks pretty good right there, I like the looks of that. We can either use tape or some kind of decoration around the area where they fit back together. I also like that. Okay, trim off a little more right here. And I'm just trimming and playing right now. I'm always anxious to get to the painting part. And here we have some true silver already in this little um, piece of a bottle. And I'm dropping in some African jade. I seem to be turning to Vivid Ultra Metallics a lot these days. It's an enamel type of paint, and it's uh, one of the newest products from Color Art. And when you mix the true metals in this line with other colors, you really get a lot of different shades. I didn't get very good coverage on this first time, but once this dries a little bit, I can get more coverage if I want it. And some of these darker colors, I'm just going to squirt it in. Uh, this is Snapdragon in the Vivid Ultra Metallics. And I'm just spreading it around with a brush. Look how pretty that looks on the outside of that bottle. Cool. In my studio, I'm trying to work on some Mommy and Me ideas and uh, this is one of them that I was kind of working on. One of the reasons I'm working on plastic bottles is so that the child would have something to work on while the mother was working on the glass ornaments. They could work on plastic ornaments. So I'm kind of fooling around with this, thinking about that. And, um, you know, it's nice to be able to bring your child with you if you're taking an art class. So I, I didn't really want the kids to be banging around on the table with the glass ornaments because... That's probably what they would do if you have a young child. But if they were uh, using a brush to paint plastic while mom was making the glass ornaments, that might work out real well. Oh, maybe you didn't know that Color Art sells glass ornaments. 
All three of the ornaments that I'm about to show you were made specifically for color art, and they're very large ornaments. Um, the star is already treated here as treated by me. What I really mean is painted. Uh, it's been painted on the inside, and this is the picture that you will see when you go to the color art to order them. I pulled it right off the color art site because I failed to bring home pictures of the clear glass ornaments. But this is my favorite, the heart. I ordered an entire case of the hearts thinking that I would have it in the studio ready to do a project for Valentine's Day, but now I've decided to use it in a special event that's coming up and to use it to decorate with, so I'm going to color them all probably a, a turquoise color very similar to what you see here. And then there's the egg. You could turn this into a Fabergé type egg. Uh, you can stuff things into them. I, I have a video where I put things on the inside. You can paint it on the inside. You can use some of the primary elements and the solution to, to work with it. So that's what I had in mind whenever I was developing something for the kids to do while their mommies worked on glass ornaments. But I'm going to get back to these plastic bottles now because I put a little African jade in and dropped in a bit of the solution to make it run. Uh, the solution is very thin, milky thin, and it helps um, make it more fluid. It helps make any paint that uh, is from color art a little more fluid so that it flows better. And you can see it's beginning to flow and I'm going to drop another color in. I think I'll put the solution in first this time and then drop the jasmine into it. Yeah, I like that. Now it's kind of flowing across and around, mixing into the solution. So this is working pretty well. That looks neat. Look how pretty. Okay, kids love glitter, so I put a little solution in to uh, one of the ornament pieces and sprinkled some glitter on it and the solution keeps that glitter in place. Kids love glitter. I think for older children they could assemble these and put them together um, with glue or tape but I think for very young children you might just want to string these on a string and call them done that this would be open and you could see all the glitter and everything in it that way. Okay, I'm going to go ahead here and try some, I've put some solution, of uh, the solution, inside the bottle, and I'm going to, of course, I made a mess. Typical me. I'm going to see if this works like it does on the glass, and I can already tell that it's sticking. I have some solution in there, and then I'm going to shake it around and pound on it. This is the cool thing about working with plastic, is that the kids can beat it, against their fist, like I'm doing, or they can knock it on the table, and no harm is done. You definitely wouldn't want to leave the lid off of the primary elements like I just did, because they'll have them knocked over and a real mess will be made, bigger messes than I make. I also added some dark green. I don't recall the color name right now, and I'm at home editing, and my product is at the studio. So, anyway, it is a dark green in the primary elements, and I added it to this bottle, and it looks pretty amazing. My glue gun's off camera, so I'm going to do a little embellishment, and I'll be back and show you. Just made a note to buy an extension cord so I wouldn't have to step off camera to use my glue gun. But anyway, while I was over at the other table, I poured a bit of black temper paint. You can see it all over my hands here. A bit of black temper paint inside because the, the gold was fairly dry. And I poured it inside to coat. And I think that really enhanced that gold color. Okay, so I'm fitting some other pieces together, trying to figure out what looks good. Not that I really think that one looks all that great. Together, they will look good with other things. There's actually three pieces fitted together here. 
and that ended up making a pretty ornament. So while mom makes the color art products, the color art glass ornaments, like the star, the heart, and the egg, the kiddos can have fun working with the same materials on plastic bottles. Check out the description box below the video for my links and for Color Art's links. Uh, color Art is just colorart.com and I have my links to all of my uh, social media. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment.